we are at Epcot again. What? Epcot? What? Epcot? What? Justin's at Epcot? I'm in oh Epcot. my god. Ryan's at Epcot again? How is that even possible? Because we live here. Yeah. Not at Epcot. At our house. It's vacation week. It's going to be busier. But that's okay. We're outside. So. And we stay away from people. We might go over and check out some resorts. Isn't that exciting? That is exciting. We're going to go to Boardwalk, I think. Or Beach Club. Or Beach Club. Or Yacht Club. Or Yacht Club. That general area. Or probably all three. Perhaps. Because Food and Wine is over. And Festival of the Holidays doesn't start until the 26th. 27th. 27th. Yep. And that's not today, so. That is not today. Yes. We're not going to tell you what day it is. I don't know what day it is. It's the 23rd. My mom's birthday is in two days. Oh my goodness. My niece Evie's birthday is tomorrow. Did you get your mother a card? No, we're terrible people. I don't know about that, but. Beautiful Epcot Spaceship Earth and the moon. Yes. No, don't sing the song. No. Ryan, don't sing the song. Imagination. It's terrible. <laughs> I'm way better at that than you are. Yeah, probably. Sorry. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. Except for you. Three terrible jokes. Yeah. <laughs> and if you like them, please click, click subscribe and like the video. If you don't, comment below. <laughs> Everyone likes a good comment. Did we already say that before? That waterfall is going backwards. Backwards? Whoa, what? It is so neat. Boy, ahead of their time on this one. Cool. PVC lounge is on the top of that building. It used to be lots of fun stuff. But we'll bring you in there at some point, yeah, too. Yeah, why not? All right, moving on. Justin. Very nice, Justin. Ooh, a little Epcot demo for you, if you want to see. Lots you... of construction walls. Yeah, it's true. They're putting in a new mouse gear and new stuff and things. And Guardians of the Galaxy in the background. That's up and coming. So usually we take a left when we come here and go to Mexico and get a margarita. But we're not doing that. We're going to take a right instead and blow everyone's mind. We're bringing you someplace secret. All kinds. <laughs> it's Justin's favorite band. I think that these are the guys that used to stroll around playing the drums because they can't have the Canadian band they used to play. Right, because Canada, Canada's border is closed. And interestingly, they have way less COVID cases than America does. a couple shots of Canada actually while we're here because it's really pretty and it's still light so you Our can friendly see a northern bit neighbors my favorite country to the north sorry Arctic Circle I guess Arctic Circle isn't really a country though so I'm not really sorry oh Just gorgeous. Really pretty. 
one night when Justin and I went to La Celia, which is in the cellar. I'll zoom in for a second. There it is. Oh, look at you. One night when we went to dinner there, there was a cute little bunny rabbit that was hopping around outside. That was very nice. That was an enthralling story. I know. <laughs> well, sometimes you have a really exciting story and sometimes you just have an observation. You're welcome. All right. Into the UK and away from the terrible performance back there. I would have thought you would have got along with them. They're full of terrible jokes. <laughs> Just for the halibut? <laughs> wow. Yeah. This is one of the pretty sections. And as we said earlier, one of the best things about Epcot is that there are all these little cute little paths that you can go down to kind of get away from people if it's a little crowded. And this is one of our favorites. And Bonnie, if you're watching, we got your cute Winnie the Pooh piglet stuffed animal right back here. Why was Winnie the Pooh back here? This is his house. Christopher, Christopher Robin's Robin. bedroom. Bedroom is on it's the back, back here. Of this building. Yeah. Maybe we can show you through the window or something like that. You would never even know he's there. No. And oh, yeah. well, you could actually go inside. That's not. That's not it. Huh? That's, it's it's this one. Right back here, but you can't see inside, unfortunately. Oh, oh, well, you kind of can, but it's all closed up right now. Christopher Robin's bureau and desk are in there. Very nice. Stop stalking Christopher Robin. Sorry, Christopher Robin. You're a little too important to me. I'm not sure why. And this is a beautiful little garden area also back here. Do you know that they do tea tours here? Twining tea tours and you can go through the gardens and they'll show you the plants where you can make tea from. Is that true? Yeah. I did not know that. Very cute. The twining, because that's the store. Right, that's the store. That's where you can get your tea. Twining tea. Is that how you say it? I think that's how you say it. Yes. And you're fancy with your pronunciation and doll. Back on the main path. Except we're leaving that pot. Where do we are. We're going to go through the International Gateway and we're going to show you the boardwalk. So most and people beach take club. a left. And yacht club. And they go and to and France and, and continue around the world. But if you go to the right. Or if you're one of the lucky few that get to stay over here. Or have a Divisi Vacation Club membership. Or annual pass so you can just come back in again. Well, yeah, but if you're staying here, it's expensive 
to stay here. Yes. Well, it's still expensive, but it's slightly less. And you get perks. Lots of perks, actually. Yeah, we're DVC members. Maybe someday we'll do a video about being DVC members. That sounds awesome. like a fancy topic. So, we'll go through International Gateway. Hey, wait, we need to look over here one more time because it's really pretty right here. You can see America Town, Japan, and France. Maker of French fries and French bread, and also French dressing. <laughs> I think I just aged myself. And really nice back here actually i haven't seen all of this open yet but then now they have a ticket window a really big ticket window yes but it was small don't contradict me and this is the skyliner the skyliner which brings you from here to hollywood studios and to several different resorts like Caribbean Beach, Riviera, Riviera, and more. This is an awesome international gateway station for the Skyliner. Really pretty. Did a nice job. Don't worry, those Skyliner cars are not going to hit me. It's kind of like if you were going skiing when it's 80 degrees. Yeah, which, okay. I'd do that. And they don't have air conditioning. You would think they would be really hot, but the little windows that are on the side and with how fast they move has plenty of ventilation yeah. and air circulation. It's amazing. Okay, Justin, here's your sign. This is where the Skyliner goes. Yeah. Art of animation, past century. Those were the ones that we missed. Fancy. And then we get to one of my favorite parts. And they run until 11.30 tonight. Really? Yeah. That's great. Oh, they have a friendship boat. Oh. This place is where we like to stay when we're visiting Disney, when we're not living here. It's our favorite. It's within walking distance of Epcot. It's within walking distance of Hollywood Studios. It's like your own private entrance. And then there's this little path that's over to the left. Good thing there's not smell-o-vision. <laughs> it just got trapped in my mask. It was awful for a second, sorry. Oh, gorgeous. Look, it's 554 and the sun's just going down. Oh, really? You know, I heard there are places in the world where the sun goes down at 345 and it's cold. Yes, my mother called me today to say it was 3.30 and it felt like it was dark because it was cloudy. Huh. Sounds and like a I terrible place. It was 80 degrees and sunny. <laughs> Just kidding. We love New England. We do. It's true. And that's the Swan and Dolphin Hotels. They're not owned by Disney. Marriott, right? No, Sheridan. One of the two. I, don't, I think um, Marriott, Sheridan owns Marriott now, or the other way around. And it's not the Su Hall, it's actually a dance hall. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> you uh, are just so clever. It's what it says. I know. All right, so you come up to the other side of the bridge and we're at the beach club, and just so like that. It's what? funny because there are lots of little bars and restaurants and entertainment that are right here for the guests staying here. Plus the pool that has a sandy bottom and a sand beach that's coming up over on your right and that belongs to the yacht club and the beach club only. Over on the left is the boardwalk hotel. The boardwalk. Very nice. We stayed there one time and it was we really did. nice. Was... But not as nice as the beach club. No, it wasn't Sorry. as nice as the beach club. No, no we one paid me to say that. We stayed at the Yacht Club, which is that hotel. Kind of like the twin to the beach club. And one of our rooms, you could actually just walk out the balcony door and you were on this boardwalk. It was really amazing. We would sit and watch the sunrise in the morning, watch the fireworks at night right from our room. It was really nice. Beach Club. There's a pool that's over there on your right that goes to the beach club and Yeah, there's the, several the pools. Quiet, one of the quiet pools. That's the quiet pool. So we'll go and take a walk over to the other side of the boardwalk. Well, I guess that is the boardwalk, but the other side of Crescent Lake, perhaps? Go ahead and leave a comment if you uh, know the, the real name. I'm just guessing at this point. And there's a brand new hotel going up right in between the Swan and Dolphin that is also owned by Sheridan or Marriott, whoever owns that. And it's going to be a part of that whole complex. It's pretty darn cool. Yacht Club is also one of the few places where you can bring your pups on vacation with you at Disney. So this pirate ship, whoa, this pirate ship actually has a slide that goes across the walkway and over and into Stormalong Bay. All right, so we go into the Yacht Club. And try a fancy milkshake that we heard about from Beaches and Cream. Thank you, Kenyon, for pointing it out on the Disney food blog. And if you don't follow Disney food blog, you really should. DFB, oh my goodness. Always having the, the info on the snacks and the delicious treats. Also where the Yachtsman Steakhouse is, and it's amazing. We had a beautiful steak for two one night. A oh, porterhouse. Oh, so oh my good. goodness. It was one of my top three steaks of all time. I think it was my favorite steak of all time.
right up the ceiling. This is the Storm Long Bay pool with Lazy River. That's really amazing. The and Lazy River is really deep. It is really deep. It's wonderful, even for adults. And it's really quiet tonight, which is really quite nice. Maybe everyone's at the park or something like that. All right, moving on. We even have a massage and salon and fitness room here, which I'm not sure why you would really need fitness if you're going to take a 27 mile walk every day, but some people like that. Some I'm not one like of them. Some people like to go for a run before they walk 10 miles in a day. I'm not one of them. I'd rather just walk. For your request, Kenyon, a <laughs> salted caramel milkshake with a piece of pumpkin pie on top. Looks good, actually. Let's give it a shot. Whoop! All right, now we're in the beach club lobby. Beach club. Sorry, beach club, you're the best. The best. Beautiful chandelier. with all the lights and the boat. So, we're walking back into Epcot and one of the best kept secrets of staying at the beach club is just over here to the left. It's the little pathway that takes you from some of the rooms you don't even have to go through the hotel. You just end up walking right out onto this area and then right into Epcot without having to see a lot of people. It's like your own private entrance. It's really wonderful.
there's a really pretty view. Yacht Club, Beach Club. This is really one of my favorite things about staying on Disney property is if you come down here on vacation, you really can make your vacation into what you want it to be. You can have a day spent at the pool with some good food, some good entertainment. And you don't even really have to leave the comforts of your own hotel. You can go into the parks if that's what you want to do, or you cannot. You can also explore the many other hotels that have equally as good restaurants, bars, entertainment, really anything that you're looking for, it's around. Quite lovely. This is the Boardwalk Bakery coming up on the left. This is one of my favorite views. some equipment. If anybody wants to buy me like a bakery like this, I'm looking for a good Christmas present, so. <laughs> I take a size 12 walk-in oven. I take a size giant Hobart mixer. <laughs> So cool. What you guys making in there? Is it something good? Even her little mixers are really cool. Actually. Right now she's stuffing something in a croissant. So. Yum. I think you said my two favorite words: stuffing and croissant. Ding 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 ding. Anyway, moving on. Perhaps none of you like baked goods. Monsters. <laughs> you can tell it's not any of these people because they're all waiting in line to get into the bakery. They have really incredible treats in there. Yeah, they really do. Uh, this restaurant that's coming up on the left, Trattoria Al Forno, is uh, an Italian restaurant, correct? Yeah. And we have eaten breakfast here. Yep. This is where we met Eugene. Or Flynn Rider. But I didn't even know who it was. We had no There's idea. also a little pizza booth here if you want to order some pizza. And attached to Trattoria Al Forno is Abracadabar. Which is really cool. They are supposed to have incredible drinks. We'll check it out some night. We'll have to take you all along with us. Look, you can see inside here, it looks really cool. Neat. flying fish. Which is not open right now. Alright. 
And we're just a few feet down for flying fish. I don't know if flying fish is open. It's not open. Typically they have Surrey bike rentals, which if you don't know what those are, they're those bikes where you can ride with like four other people. And uh, that are more like steam rollers and you kind of get to jump out of the way. Yeah. And uh, yeah. It's not too much more. We have a gift shop coming up on the left that takes up quite a bit of room, but they have some nice stuff in there. They do. Um, and then Jelly Rolls is after that. Then that is a dueling piano bar. I don't know if that's open right now either. I don't actually. believe it is. Um, and then the dance hall, which is just so hall right now. Um, <laughs> the DAN is out. You may wonder why it's so quiet, and it's just because it's only seven o'clock right now. This place really, truly gets busy at 10 o'clock, somewhere right around there once the parks start closing and people come back from their, to their hotel and they're looking for some food and some kind of entertainment. And that's going to wrap it up for tonight. We hope you had fun watching us. Please click like and subscribe. It's with down notifications there somewhere. So you can be notified of all our excellent videos and our excellent video work. It's getting better. <laughs> it's a work in progress. It is. You know, it is. We have some like more baking anything. videos coming up and you'll see some more Disney videos. This will probably be our last Disney video for another week because the parks tend to get really crazy during Thanksgiving week. Um, so our next reservation is next Monday. We'll be at the Magic Kingdom. Um, but besides that, stay safe, have a happy Thanksgiving, and we'll see you later. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye. Bye. Bye.